Today's title is how to stop struggling with dating because I know it can be a minefield. I know from my own experience because I had been on 110 online dates and basically I uh, was dating for about 10 years before I realized it wasn't getting me the right man. It wasn't getting me the love of my life. And I went on a dating detox. I did work around self-worth, self-love. I focused on the relationship with myself. I reconnected with myself. And I decided to be happy here and now without a man. And my love life transformed because very soon after the dating detox, I found the love of my life. Now I've been in a happy relationship for the past three years and we already have a baby who is one and a half years old. And I believe you don't need to struggle in dating, with dating, with men. You just have to do some work so you send different vibes out there and you project different things to attract the right kind of guys. Because this is essentially what happened to me. After the dating detox, I started to attract completely different guys, high quality guys as I call them. And the whole dating experience became more fun. It was like an um, entertaining experience rather than uh, heavy emotionally, uh, disappointing, draining, like it used to be for me when I dated like a mad woman. So, and this is how it should be. Dating should be fun. Dating should be a form of entertainment rather than... Uh, a desperate way of looking for love because when you have this desperate element within you you will be chasing everybody away so you don't want to be in that space but let me tell you a few things you can do to actually improve your dating experience first thing is that if you are a single lady who has been dating for a while and all all you get are the wrong guys, uh, the guys who are not ready to commit, the guys who are not serious about relationships, the commitment phobes, players, narcissists, jerks and losers and guys who have no balls to communicate openly and stuff and you are just getting hurt, disappointed and it's not fun. I reckon you've done a little bit too much and you need to have a break. Because if you carry on carrying the same energy within you, you'll be attracting the same kind of stuff. So you'll be just creating more drama and trauma in your dating rather than attracting high quality, amazing guys who are also on the dating websites and out there looking for relationships. And they are actually waiting to find a woman like you to make her happy, to commit, to have an amazing relationship. So... If you have done lots of dating and you haven't found the right person and you have lost uh, faith in love and hope and you have become bitter about men, this is the place to stop. This is the place to stop and go within and reconnect with yourself and focus on yourself and rebuild yourself from within so you become more confident, you recognize your value and you show it to the world because when you project your value out there, you'll be attracting different kind of guys. And one of them will be your amazing future partner who you can, be, uh, you can create an amazing relationship with later on. So, first thing, when you take yourself off the dating treadmill, you need to rebuild your life. You need to create a life which you actually enjoy living, which is awesome, which is exciting, which is fun. Because when you have fun in your life as a single person, when you truly love living your life, you will show up as a happy person and you will show up as a more attractive person. Because nobody wants to uh, date miserable people who are unhappy and miserable and they want to be fixed and rescued, especially high quality guys. And this is what I help my clients to get and find high quality guys, not average guys who don't know what they want and they're not clear on their kind of love goals the guys who are ready to commit and have a relationship so these guys look for happy women 
They look for women who live on purpose. They look for women who have passions and kind of hobbies. And they are actually happy with their life and they, they don't need to fill the gap with the guy because nobody wants to be in that kind of role. They are happy on their own. They, um, if they're not happy with something, they, they take responsibility for that and they change it. And they are in charge of their lives. They're confident, they're self-assured. And when you have a life which actually makes you happy, you show up as that kind of woman. So first thing is create the life you love living. And don't wait for the guy to show up in your life and create it for you because it hardly ever happens. Plus it's your life, so it's your responsibility to take responsibility for your happiness and uh, become happy here and now. Because um, the most attractive uh, quality in dating, in my opinion, is to feel happy as a person. Not extra makeup, not extra kind of flirting techniques. It's the genuine light which you shine out there, the happy light, the, the happiness from within, which you project to the outside. And this is very attractive to high quality guys. So create awesome life. Then another thing is spend some time on uh, increasing self-love in your life. I don't know where you are uh, on your journey, how much self-love work you've done, but I can reassure you there's always something to do. On different levels, there's another layer to be peeled off, and uh, this is my personal experience. I have thought a few times in my life that I already knew what self-love was, but then another experience came and confronted me. And I realized that what I thought self-love was, it wasn't actually the true definition of it. So uh, I'm going to do another live stream on self-love separately because my approach to self-love is kind of uh, practical. It's a practice. It's not a feeling in my opinion. And I will have a few more tips on self-love for you later on, maybe this week. But... What so I believe personally that self-love is a total game changer because when you start loving yourself, you start respecting yourself, you start respecting your boundaries, you start respecting your time. And because of these things, you show up as a woman of value. You, from the beginning, you set the tone for your relationships with your potential dates and you show them by your actions how you want to be treated. So the guys who can't give you what you want, they'll just disappear. And the guys who find it attractive and high quality men do find it attractive when you have self-respect and self-resilience and, and strong boundaries, then they will step up. And they will chase you and they will try to do anything to be in your company, to create opportunities to be with you, to meet you, to spend time with you. Because they will be drawn to this energy. Plus, when you start loving yourself more, you automatically stop being desperate for a relationship. You also stop looking for validation. And in my opinion, it's absolutely sexy when you show up and you don't uh, kind of spend lots of time thinking, what can I do to impress him? How shall I act? What shall I say? You become unapologetically, authentically yourself. And this is how you want to show up in dating because then you attract the right kind of guys and you give them an opportunity to uh, decide whether you are the cup of tea or not and that's fine because not everyone needs to like you so self-love is the way to go certainly changed absolutely changed and transformed my love life and my current relationship because I show up differently because I love myself and I don't really desperately need it from my partner and I mentioned it already the byproduct of loving yourself more are strong boundaries and that's another thing you need to do when you want to date successfully and you don't want to waste lots of time on time wasters you don't want to get hurt you don't want to get involved in the wrong relationships with the wrong guys you need to have strong boundaries because the truth is People have different agenda when they go online or they, they think they want to date, but they're not sure what they're looking for. And you can't control that. You can't control what the men 
you are dating are looking for and how they're going to show up and whether they have genuine intentions or not. What you can control is yourself, your attitude, your boundaries. And you can, if you have them in place, you will be setting up the, the tone for the relationship going forward. You will be teaching these guys how you want to be treated as a woman. So you need to know your boundaries, uh, meaning you need to know what your limits are, what your rules around dating and relationships are. So ask yourself a few questions, you know, how... Uh, I prefer we can learn a lot from our mistakes from the past. So my exercise would be go uh, in memory, in your mind, go back to your previous relationships and ask yourself, how did you dishonor your boundaries uh, in the previous relationships in the name of love? Uh, because you wanted to keep the relationships going. So when you find out what your boundaries are, the way forward is to Stick into them. Don't just have boundaries and compromise on them every time a guy shows you a little bit of interest and a little bit of attention. You have to be really committed to it. If someone breaks your rule, you just know it's not the person for you. And I'm, you know, there will be things you can probably slightly compromise on. I just don't want to project this um, uh, a picture that you can't compromise on anything. You have to know for yourself what your non-negotiables are and make a list and, and treat them like a prayer, like a daily prayer. Just ingrain them in your brain that, you know, I won't accept guys who do this and that, who just call me once a week or who just disappear and come back to my life because they don't have anything better to do or invite me out the same day for the evening. I, I want to be invited, like, for example, on Wednesday for the weekend so I can prepare and it feels right. If they don't give me enough notice, it doesn't feel right. So you have to observe yourself and you have to find the lessons from your past about your boundaries. And when you have them in place, I can almost guarantee you won't be getting involved uh, online or even uh, in uh, normal kind of traditional dating with the wrong guys. Because you will know, your body will tell you, your intuition will tell you, no, there's something off here. I don't like the way he's acting around me. So you will find the courage to speak to the guy, speak your truth and tell him how you feel. And then you will have an opportunity to move on if the guy disappears or suddenly the guy can step up and treat you like a woman with strong boundaries and self-respect because this is who you are and this is how you're going to show up. And I just had a thought in my mind and I wanted to say something which was very important, but it slipped and I'll make a comment if I remember. And if you are this woman who has been struggling in dating, who is struggling to find the right kind of guy and who keeps bumping onto the wrong type of guys and you need help, please feel free to uh, send me a personal message. I'm going to also post a link to my calendar. Uh, you will be able to schedule a session with me, with me, which is called the Love Life Makeover Session. It's a session to help you see what you have been doing wrong in the love department so far and what you need to shift and improve going forward to attract different type of guys and give yourself a chance to attract the high quality guy who is perfect for you and you can have an amazing relationship with him. And the whole purpose of what I do with my clients is to help them stop struggling in dating and in love and stop losing themselves in relationships and become a strong uh, a woman of value, a woman with self-respect and self-love who is treated nicely by men, high quality men. So if you want to talk to me, Feel free to, uh, to send me a message. If you want to schedule a session, there'll be a link to my calendar. If you have any questions, email me as well. If it feels a little bit personal, I absolutely understand that um, uh, this can be a sensitive topic and some people, or especially women, don't want to go public about their single status and, and struggles in love and in dating. But my email box is open to you, so please do use it if you need help. I'm very happy to talk to you and help you. 
stop struggling in love and finding the right kind of guy for yourself. So keep well, everybody. Thanks for listening and see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.